Hello and welcome to this video of lots of hands-on exercises in Power BI. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take a project and we'll try to finish the project starting from the scratch to the end. And when you are done with this project, this is how the dashboard would look like. Let's understand the business model first. The business model is that there is there is a hospital chain across the US and they have so many hospitals in each city, in each state, maybe uh, you know all across the US. Now, they wanted to find out that what kind of doctors, nurses, practitioners, surgeons we require across US and are the jobs filled across the US, right? And then they wanted to make sure that they are able to fulfill all the jobs because if you have adequate staff, you will be able to serve your patients better and as well as earn good money. So it's all related to the right amount of people and the workforce. And this is a dashboard for recruitment team of this hospital, wherein they wanted to find out that what are jobs by specialization? That means how many jobs? What are the total jobs? How many the jobs are closed? That means we have already hired. How many jobs for which we are looking for people? And there are different types of visualization. So I'll quickly tell you, uh, if you hover your mouse over, it shows tooltip that these are the total jobs for this particular specialty. That is acute care, uh, cardiology, critical care, allergies, uh, family practice and stuff like that. So various specialization, how many jobs are open and how many the jobs are closed? What is the conversion ratio? Conversion ratio is a calculation which tells you the open jobs, the closed jobs versus the total jobs. Similarly, job ratio, uh, total to recruitment, and then on the second tab you have trends, that how the job trends are in the last few months, last six months. Uh, here this is region wise trend and this is conversion ratio trend. So the first one is the dashboard, the second one is the trend. And then from here you can go down to any detail level. So right click, drill through and you can go to the detail page. So this is a drill through enable. And there are three tool tips tabs which you would be able to create uh, sometime in this uh, hands-on session. So this is how your final product is going to look like. And based on the last videos, set of videos, set of videos on Power BI do it yourself, you must have learned different tools and techniques in pieces. This is the time to bring it all together and create a Power BI project. And this is the focus of lots of hands-on exercises on Power BI. To start with, you need to get the data. So go to the Google Drive link here, uh, which is this one. So hands-on number 45. So load the hospital hr.xls file from the lots of hands-on folder. So Google Drive link is here. So this is the Google Drive link. The link is in the description section of the video and you need to go download this PBIX file as well. This is the same PBIX file which I have showed you here. So this is your Power BI do it yourself. There is lots of hands-on folder. Double click it. You can download this XLS and the PBIX file to, ref to refer. Once you download the XLS file, this is how the XLS file looks like. You have five tables which you are going to upload. Region, Speciality, Account Manager, Sales Consultant, uh, there you go, and then Job and Closure. So how many jobs open, how many closed based on the status. So this is very very uh, common data model for uh, a hospital HR or recruitment team, all right? Now, so click on the get data and then select the Excel data source. So now everybody should be familiar by the get data. You get data here and select the Excel. The guys who are familiar with 
on cloud databases, big data, you put this file and data set in your databases or big data hive structure and see if you can connect with Power BI. But for those guys who are just focusing on Power BI, just get the Excel sheet out. And then verify the data, get all the sheets and click on load. So once you click on load, you would get all these tables and I can decrease here. And this is a time wherein you need to kind of play around with a lot of features in Power BI. So this is how your end structure would look like. Uh, I'll just show you the conditions here. So this is speciality to speciality connection. Uh, here the relationship is state ID to state ID. The account manager to job page relationship is based on AM ID, account manager. And finally the sales consultant which is a recruitment consultant is SCID to SCID. Now what you need to do is verify the join conditions and that will be your do it yourself number 45. So I would like you to pause the video, follow these steps and wait for the next do it yourself. Now, as you have done, do it yourself number 45, we'll do do it yourself number 46. So add a new page from the bottom of the screen. So once you go here, you can add a new page, rename it to dashboard on the bottom of your screen. Then focus on jobs by specialization visualization. So if you click on this, go here, you would see how it is created. What are the values? What are the tooltips? You have to put all of them together. All right. Now refer to the PBIX file, there are measures and calculations. So if you can calculate the count of closed jobs and number of open jobs, that's good. If not, then what you can do is, if you select jobs by specialization, you see count and closed and count of closed and count of open, go in here and you would see those calculations created. So these, these are the measure calculations. Please note that by this, by now, you know that this kind of icon is a measure calculation while this kind of an icon or this kind of an item is a date, but they, there are uh, calculated columns as well. So these are measure calculations. So create a measure calculation, look it up and find out. Now, after you have done, you can pause the video now and complete 45 and 46. You have to play around a bit on the PBIX file. Number 47, focus on the top 10 recruitment consultants, top number of closed versus open by speciality and conversion ratio trend and by state. So let's do that. So you have five things, total recruitment consultants, uh, top recruitment consultants, number of closed versus open by speciality. Again, you have to go in here, see how it's been created. What are the values? What are the open sources? Uh, sorry, uh, open uh, calculations, closed calculations. Click on here, see what and how it's been created. Focus on minute details on the properties, which is here. Uh, this is, which is the map. So if you look at it, I'm trying to cover almost all the type of different, ty different types of visualizations. And this is what, this is gonna help you. These are some cards, uh, which are the, the card here, which tells you how to create these ones as well. Please notice the background color, the font color, you know, you try to replicate it because when you go to a project, the coloring, the visualizations, the patterns, the title are very important part of your visualization. Now, once you are done, then, you know, look at all the calculations, measures like speciality, conversion ratio, etc. And then add the slicers. So from slicers, I mean, add the date, see how the reference dates have been changed, a speciality name, a region, recruitment consultant. 
another good point which you should also consider is if you think that a different type of slicer or a custom visualization would work best on a data set please do that you know i want you to be very creative and this is something which you should take this hands on pbix file as the base but you should make sure that you try to create based on your visualization you know uh, obviously there are different people different thinking and that is why it's a very open platform again this is providing you a guideline but this is not it you think on how you can make it much better next is time to pause the video make sure you have completed 45 46 47 because if you move on from here it will be getting more and more complex all right now you have that paused you have paused the video and now you have moved on to 48 so add a new page and name it as trends so here you add a new page name it as trends and again here you have jobs trend region wise conversion ratio conversion ratio trend by specialization again go through each of them understand how these are created what what components for example for the job posted date uh, it was brought in like this and then the year quarter and date was removed and that's why you just see month so these are some small little things which you have to figure it out so let's focus on job trend which we were doing and then create measures calculations how it is achieved the coloring pattern you can change it you can use some templates which have been provided in the previous set of videos uh please note that the tool tips are enabled which is going to be part of the next do it yourself now pause the video complete 48 as well do it yourself number 49 focus on the other two visualizations make sure you add slicers to the page make sure that you have the colors It doesn't matter whichever color but you should be able to color this one you should be able to cover color the background the headings the lines you know different color types of charts please refer to the pbix file pause the video complete diy 14 49 All right. Now you have paused the video. Start it again. Do it yourself, number fifty. So, details page. You have to create another sheet and name it as a details page. And most likely in the details page, you would like to have a tabular kind of a representation where people can easily download that in a CSV file. And that is where I would recommend you to use a. tabular format data you can add slicers in order for the users to be able to slice and dice and then these are some cards these are good examples few people preferred this card over be over here to be over here on the top it depends on you totally depends on you please note that in the drill throughs you have to go in and clear all the drill throughs filters if you have any and that's how you would see it you know this is something which you want to refer really really close so time to pause the video do number 50 all right now let's start again on 51 you have to enable the drill throughs from the main dashboard page and the trends page so this is the main dashboard the first page enable drill through you know how to enable drill through if you need suggestions there is a video out there for drill through enablement the previous set of videos please take a look test all the drill through so make sure you are able to drill through from this page you are able to drill through from this page as well you know the drill through from across all the areas in the dashboard should be available now time to pause the video and complete exercise number 51 Exercise number fifty-two: Create tool tips at each level. Now, there is a video out there to create tool tips page. In this, we have created tool tip, tool tip one, two, and three. 
different types of tool trips for different types of charts again this is just for your reference only try to create using own in, in, intuitiveness your own creativity all right so it's it's very very open think what works think what does not work now time to pause the video and complete the exercise number 52 all right i hope you have done from 45 to 52 now let's do 53 now publish the pbix file onto the power bi service install the gateway and then schedule a data refresh every two hours So create a dashboard onto the Power BI report service. So publish this PBIX file, install a gateway, schedule a data refresh every two hours and or every six hours doesn't matter, two or six hours doesn't matter and then enable Q&A. Create an app and publish it. So all of these videos have been covered in the previous set of videos, all the items, how to do it. It's very, very cleanly covered if you have questions comments put it in the video section below time to pause the video and do exercise number 53 now that you have done 53 let's do hands-on number 54 which is implement data level security on the region this is very important and that is why we have kept it on 54 this is the last exercise of this lots of hands-on exercise for Power BI. So implement data level security on the region. Now let's see the data on the region. This is the region and if you look at it there are eight or nine distinct regions New England, Mid-Atlantic which have few states. So what I want to do is you have regional managers wherein like you have New England, Mid-Atlantic, East North Central, West Central and stuff like that and you have to create those security roles for each and every one. In the previous video, we have talked about security. Please follow that. Create security roles on the follow for the following groups, regional managers, East, North, Central, South, Central, Mid-Atlantic, Mountain West, New England, Pacific West, South Atlantic, West, North, Central, and then you have to validate the security roles based on the data across all the pages. Now, if you have done this, please save your work and send an email with your PBIX file with your colors and your pattern and your design for a course completion certificate. So if you do this and all the other videos, all the other hands-on exercises, you would get a course completion certificate from Bharti DW Consultancy. I hope this is going to take you to the next level. You know, you will complete end to end with a new type of data. Try to understand the data. It's very important as a BI consultant or Power BI developer to understand the data and implement it. I hope you find this good. Have a wonderful, happy learning session.